Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video and this time I'm back on ROM reviews and uh, this time I've got the Phoenix AEX that stands for Android AOSP Extended 4.4 for the OnePlus 3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, now I'm a huge fan of the AEX series of ROM. It is it does stand for AOSP Extended. What it is is it is AOSP based ROM with a lot more amazing features. I really like that. And uh, you can see this is the Phoenix version by the same developer who gave us the Oxygen OS camera onto the custom ROM scene. So big thumbs up to him let's get to the stuff now first of all sorry for this theme i am using this as my daily driver for the time being so i actually went ahead and used a substratum theme it comes with substratum full oms support i'm using pitch black one of the best themes available apart from that let's go to the about phone page you can see aex it does have aosp ota update so you do have that and this version was 19 uh, 7 2017 version so that is the latest version which is available you can see aosp extended version is 4.4 uh, July patches are available kernel is render kernel and that is one of the basic important things about this ROM it is an EAS kernel which stands for uh, energy aware scheduling which is slowly becoming the norm on Android and I really really appreciate that so it's coming and SLN status is enforcing for those who care now if you have already viewed I've already made a ROM review for this Phoenix AEX ROM in this previous iteration I guess it was 4 or 3.8 I'm not really sure but most of the things which you have in that ROM feature wise is still there so feature wise it is right up there with the best feature rich ROMs like Resurrection Remix, uh, Citrus Calf and all that. It does have a lot of features. So let's get to the features then. First of all, most of the extra features are in the extensions menu. So you do have status bar options. Uh, you can go get all of this from the uh, description in the below. I have made a separate video for all the functions which you have. So you have status bar item clocks, battery, traffic indicator, which you can see there. Uh, miscellaneous options, you do have show notification count, status bar clock is available uh, roaming indicator if you can enable or disable that gestures on the status bar is also available breathing notifications uh, notification panel quick settings and all that is available you can customize that whatever is here the only thing is that you are limited to six in the small quick setting tile which is kind of sad I can live with that uh, it's not a huge deal for me edit icon you can also just customize a lot of these things that's pretty cool to have notification stuff you can you do have power notification controls this is disabled by default you can enable that and that does work out really well force expanded notification flashlight notification heads up display is available to be customized so you can customize the timeout function I normally keep it at two seconds timeout and snoozer I just delete snooter snooze uh, timer because I really hate that so you do have that navigation bar is also available if you want to use the navigation bar instead of this one I mean you can use both in tandem also now recent menu in the recent options you do have card or grid style memory management clear all button can be enabled disabled also the location can be customized also it does have slim recent which is also available lock screen option you can customize whatever appears in the lock screen menu you, you do have fingerprint unlock which is amazing I really appreciate that that does work out really well Lost items can be customized to all of these show weather it does have omni jaws for the weather options which is really cool it does work out really well you can customize it from here so you do have a uh, update interval all that can be customized from here media cover art and display music visualizer in the lock screen also shortcuts can also be customized for center shortcut and corner shortcuts so you can customize that I normally keep both of them blank because I like it that way in the system options you do have general tweaks where you have uh, all of these options like toast icons media scanner behavior on boot uh, launch music player when you plug in the wired headset or Bluetooth headset is plugged in so that's pretty cool even with a screenshot crop and share one of the things which I've been using a lot on my daily driver which is a resurrection remix form so that's also there a uh, clock blocker is available blur settings animation settings can also be customized you do have uh, list view animation toast animation all of that can be customized from here button setting is also available and one of my biggest gripes previously on an AOSP based ROM was that volume key cursor control was not available and that was a very big thing which I use in most of my thing I mean I always select a DPI much much higher than just 480 I have like 490 580 540 something like that 
so it's really hard to pinpoint between words so i use my um, volume rocker to con control that now it has it uh, the aosp roms also have volume key cursor control which is amazing i really appreciate that also media control keys reorient playback control all of this is still available back button home button and overview button customizable for three actions which is single tap long step long press and double tap so you can customize that it's really cool it also comes with app ops you can customize all of these stuff you can uh, disable the permissions for each and every stuff which you have and one of the things which i've been messing around with is uh wake lock keep awake i do disable i did try and disable play services but eh, it caused a little bit of problems that's pretty cool so you do have a lot of options there now it doesn't come with any root modules i had to flash magic and magic 13.3 works pretty well i really like that substratum it does come with substratum but you do have to update it through play store whenever you flash this so that's some, something you can you need to do in the display stuff you do have nightlight and it is working automatically that's pretty cool ambient display is customizable and you do have double tap to wake on those which is amazing i really appreciate that uh, prevent accidental wake up srgb mode is also available if you can uh, find the difference it does work out pocket detection mode dashboard options is also available where you can use customize this one um, i normally keep it at two because i want more in the same screen so that's available so yeah in the touch screen option you do have the gestures which is not as advanced as what you would get with the signage mod rom but still or lineage mod rom so whatever it is uh gestures is also available for the camera one also additional buttons which is the uh slider which is working and that does work out really well i really appreciate that also one plus ambient display is available for tilt and the tilt and proximity sensor that is working pretty good now in everything else you do have security settings you do have quick unlock which is available here and one thing to remember is only work for four digit pin so yeah that is important and it does give you an alert that is amazing and uh, that was one of my cries with other ROMs which does not give you an alert on this just shows you that and yeah I use a six digit pin and uh, if I had enabled that there will be no other way for me to get into the phone other than just going to uh, team win recovery and deleting the patches so that's something there scramble layout is also available which is pretty cool if you have fingerprint unlock enabled scramble layout is an amazing way to save your phone in most of the situation so that just work out really well and uh, yeah these are the stuff which you get with this ROM I really like the feature package in this ROM it's not the most comprehensive but it does cover almost all the stuff which I really like it so I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 in terms of features because that's really cool now next comes the battery life uh, for the battery life it is an EAS based ROM it is CAF based ROM so you are going to get a great battery life I mean it is four to four and a half hours easily screen on time it's really good the battery uh, with this one you can see it is three hours per idle drain but that's just because I have been using it I have stuff uh, going on in the background but with the uh, idle drain idle drain normally tends to be about 1.2 uh, percentage per hour which is normal for me because I don't really get the best uh, signal reception where I am living so yeah 1.2 is a really good thing I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 now the performance the N22 benchmark score which I received was about 134,000 which is normal nothing earth shattering so it's just normal stuff uh, it's about 5 out of 10 I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 about that now the stability didn't really have any stability issue but uh, to be honest, not a lot of ROM have stability issues, which I ever I normally uh, review. So not a big thing, but still it's good to have a stable ROM. So it's a uh, six out of ten. I'm gonna give it. Now comes the camera. It does have the camera O2, which is this one. Uh, it does work out really well. You can see everything works. I'm a huge fan of this camera, which is the Oxygen OS camera. It works out really well. You can see in the well lit environment, it is. It does give you a sharp image yeah there is a little bit of post processing going on you can see that not the best experience but it also has raw capture and it does work out really well it captures 30 35 meg raw images which you can edit and make beautiful I really really appreciate that that's something which I really like it and also it does have the Google camera which works on HAL 3 I believe uh, and also it does have uh, on the go on the fly HAL switcher which is amazing and that is something which I really really appreciate in this ROM so yeah as you can see there is 
not much difference between the two shots but uh, the options having the options between those two is really cool i really like that so in the camera department i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 because it is better than most of them and the hand switcher thing is great if you're using something like okay cinema fv5 it doesn't really work well with hal 1 it works great with hal 3 so i do use this one a lot with hal 1 you won't get a preview and that's just a pain in the ass so it really works out really well. Now the aesthetics, as you can see, I am using Substratum. It does work out really well. Without the Substratum, it is pixel themed. Not much going on. Really cool. I really like it, but that's just about it. Uh, it's normal. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 on that. Now comes the overall experience. It's a great daily driver. And if you want a mix of performance, stability, and battery life for not a lot of things, uh, sacrificing a lot of things, this is a really good feature ROM. Uh, I really like it. I have been using this for about two days now and it is really, really cool. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for the overall experience. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which was, which is actually something really cool. I really like it. So here is the boot animation, which is a unique boot animation. I really like it. It's minimal, it's simple, and yeah, it's kind of enchanting and oh yeah it is odex rom so the boot process is much simpler and much faster so that's just something which i want to talk about so yeah time to rise be extended pretty cool so yeah i guess that should be it about the rom then um as you can see it just enabled night mode because it is from night time right now everything does work out really well for this rom i really appreciate that uh, so overall, I'm gonna give it a 6.43. That is what the scores have commenced into, but I'm gonna give it a 6.5 because I really like using this ROM. It's a 6.5 out of 10. It's better than normal ROMs. I mean, bet normal ROMs gonna get a 4.5 or 5. Well, 6.5, it's better in my opinion. I mean, yeah, it's all my opinion. Uh, there might be people who swear by other ROMs, but it's a really great ROM with a lot of features which I tend to use a lot and I really really do like this so yeah that's it about the ROM then hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time